Hi everyone, I'm Eric Hillis and I'm happy to announce that as of this past June, I am the new Health and Human Sciences Educator here at the Tipton County Purdue Extension Office. And just to provide a couple more staffing updates with taking over the HHS position, that of course opens up the Community Wellness Coordinator position. So I do know that interviews are taking place, but that's about all I can share right now. But we'll be sure to share more information as soon as we can on the position of CWC. And finally, I'd like to welcome Emily Peterson to our office as the new Ag and Natural Resources Educator. So as a new HHS educator, I'm currently going through some of the new educator trainings and onboarding through Purdue. But, that, but with that being said, I look forward to start offering programming. You can also reach out to area HHS educators to partner in programming. So if you have an interest, please contact me by phone or email. Now looking ahead to September, there are a couple dates that I want to mention. The first, of course, is the Tipton Pork Festival taking place September 8th through the 10th. Our office will have a booth in the commercial tent, so come by and see us. We will have different materials available and would love to chat. The other date is September 20th. From noon until 2, the educators and hopefully our new CWC will be eating lunch at East Street Provisions. So buy your lunch at East Street and sit down and eat with us and ask questions or share any ideas you may have about programming. Again, that's September 20th at East Street Provisions from noon until 2. See you soon. Hi, I'm Emily Peterson and I'm the new Ag and Natural Resource Educator here for Tipton County. I am a Purdue 2022 graduate with a major in horticulture and I have minors in Ag Business and Turf Management. I am from Cicero, Indiana, so not too far from here, um, where I was a 10-year 4-H member and that's kind of where my passion and knowledge came for Ag and especially in Extension. I started in mid-July here at the Tipton County Fairgrounds. Um, so a little bit after the fair, so I'm new to the fairgrounds and new to Tipton community. Um, so I'm enjoying getting to know everyone. Um, with that being said, I am in the same boat as Eric. I'm working on a lot of new educator trainings and meetings and kind of finishing that up. And so with that, I'm hoping to start on some programming and um, getting out into the community a little bit more. I also plan on being at the community events that Eric mentioned, such as the Tipton Pork Festival and the luncheon at East Street Provisions. As for looking forward into programming, I am starting to work on to conduct an advisory group of uh, members of the Tipton community where I'll gain feedback um, and what they like and what to be continued and some new ideas that they have as a group. And then also I just enjoy feedback from everyone. So if you aren't on that advisory committee and still have um, ideas, feel free to email me or give me a call and so I could incorporate some new ideas. So going into the winter months, I'm looking at kind of looking at those programming and trainings that I need. So I'm going to become a PARP certified um, so I could host events where they um, have PARP credits at those. I'm also working on gaining education and training with the Master Gardeners where I'm hoping to become a host county for the new Master Gardener training here in the spring. And then also working with the Unmanned Aerial Systems or the drone program which has previously been here as before. So with that being said, I'm obviously a pretty new educator here and I'm looking forward to me meeting everyone in Tipton County. So feel free to stop by the office where I hope to see some of you guys at the community events coming up soon. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brian Howe. I'm the 4-H Youth Development Extension Educator here in Tipton County. Well, we've made it through another summer, another great county fair, and we were well represented at the Indiana State Fair. We had several exhibitors participate in livestock grand drives on the various weekends of the State Fair. Um, many of the building projects received blue or blue special merits, and one photography project was even selected to be on display at the State 4-H office throughout the next year on campus. So congratulations to all those exhibitors. Thank you to all the volunteers, parents, and youth who worked so hard to make this 4-H year a successful one. There are still, still several county and state fair projects that were left here in the office. Please be sure to swing by and get those as soon as possible because we don't want those to be damaged by accident. September is usually a bit of a reset month as we finalize some of the things from the summer and we make some plans for the fall and beyond. So that doesn't mean that there aren't some 4-H activities happening. A few clubs are still meeting and planning for their fall events, including Achievement Night, which will be held in November. 
The Area Livestock Skillathon contest will be held in Grant County on September 16th, and several youth from both schools in Tipton County will be participating in that. Thank you to the ag teachers at both schools um, for organizing those teams and the volunteer helpers that are also helping out with that. I will be at both Tri-Central and Tipton Elementary Schools this month conducting some fun and educational science activities in different classrooms. Um, and our county will also be the site for the Area Soils Contest in early October. So I will be um, busy organizing that through much of the month of September as well. So 4-H enrollment begins on October 1st. Be on the lookout for more information regarding enrollment and other resources so we can get ready to have a great 2022-2023 4-H year.